All right, Alex, I really like the way this feels. When I take a club, it starts to feel a little different. So how do we get some of these, these really cool um, drills and feelings into like a golf swing? So it'd be, it'd be similar to, wow, it, it feels really good day one, and then it feels a little better day two. And then as we continue to train over the course of the program, and then students that come out here have gone through the 60-day program. So they've been, they've been training for some time. So those movements have started to, day one probably felt a little awkward. And then uh -huh. over time, as you train more, they start to build their way into your into your golf game. So, um, just time, just training. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. So you you think the more you do something, even if it's not with a golf club, it'll start to bleed into your golf. Swing. Yeah, because the yeah. the way the body moves, you start to build those those sensations or those feels, or because we're looking at pressure mm -hmm. and how the body moves with energy. So the the pressure and the energy start to become the glue or start to build yeah. into the body over time. Just similar to a martial art. Okay. Yeah, so you'd okay. work, your, work your way from a white belt to a black belt, and it would gotcha. take some time. All right, well, you would be black belt level golfer. <laughs> uh, in your own game, what, what, do you, what do you like, what is the thing that you sometimes struggle with, and what is the, the drill or the feeling out here that you find yourself keep going back to? Well, for, for me at this point, it's more about we talked a little bit about the center of gravity, how it moves, and then where's the bottom of the arc and some of the, the basic concepts. But we would look at out here, how do we hit different golf shots off of different uneven lies? Okay. So how does the center of gravity move on a flat lie or on a mat or in your living room is great, but that's not the reality on the golf course because uh -huh. very seldomly do we have a flat lie. So where's gravity moving me and what happens when the ball's on a hanging lie, what happens when the ball's above my feet or a uphill lie, downhill lie, and then what are all of the, the different things that, that I have to do to counterbalance those slopes and hit different shapes and trajectories off of different uneven lies. So a lot of our training beyond the basics would be hitting shots, playing, uh, okay. and, and just getting comfortable on different slopes, different lies. Yeah, so that becomes where it's like the work of a lifetime where you're taking it right. and being able to put it at any course in the world and, right. and on any conditions. Because we wanted to look at yeah. the, the simple movements of being centered, being balanced, creating leverage, leveling out, and then thrusting up to the finish. That stuff, I mean, it's not doing a backflip on a balance beam. Yeah. It's not that elusive or that challenging. Mm -hmm. But what happens is we get out on the golf course, I get a four degree ball above my feet lie, which changes the lie angle four degrees, and all of a sudden my center of gravity moves differently. Yeah. So that lie kicks me differently yeah. and I think it's my golf swing so I go back to my mat and I work yeah. on my golf swing. Yeah. So if you look at from a Nicholas perspective I always played to the widest flattest parts of the golf course because yeah. he knew most of the catastrophic misses came from slopes you know yeah. just like all of yeah. us kind of feel on the golf yeah. course. All right so you just said something uh, you just kind of ran through like okay I know that this 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 and this it was like a little checklist of what happens in the swing. Yeah. So give me the uh, Tahatha kind of idea of what happens in the swing. I heard you just say the backswing does this, centered, blah, blah. Yeah. You go through that a little bit. Yeah, so yeah. we would look at, okay, what's it feel like to, if I'm gonna, if this is a soccer ball, what's it feel like to, to set up athletic to it? What's it feel like to set up centered and balanced and athletic mm -hmm. in this direction? So we saw on the wall, the feet are turned out slightly, we're centered, we're balanced, we're athletic. And then what does it feel like to just create leverage to the top of the backswing and knowing what so it's centered balance and yeah. then leverage okay yeah so mm -hmm. knowing what it feels like to be centered and balanced and then knowing to move from my center in martial arts or what does it feel like to to be centered up here create width and leverage then how does this if i'm going to land this airplane on this runway or what's going on at the bottom of the arc mm -hmm. so like a stenson or like some of the greats you'd see how we level out and then what's and you happening say like landed on a runway so it's not like i want to crash right landing. right and it's not like i want to skip the runway. right and, and, and you don't want it. the tip of the you back of the airplane to hit either right have everything that's what you mean by level out leveling out the everything right. and, okay yeah, in a very yeah. basic term so th yeah. so that would and we can move that around That'd be can, that transition. if we want to hit some different shots okay yeah um but so how does it how does it level out and then okay what happens from here to here to the finish so how does the where does the rotation really take place and where does the thrust take place and how does the the pelvis release and the uh -huh. thoracic release yeah. and the head release how do we get to the 
the finish of the golf swing, but all based on what trajectory we want to create. So really simple movements, yeah. but take it away from me standing on the range, thinking, thinking, thinking about positions. Just come out here, train for an hour, build these feels over time, and then let it and seep out into there, your golf don't, swing. Yeah, don't even like no. think about it. Right. It's just like, oh, you've done the work into right. your body here and see what right. comes out there. Right, because from a martial art perspective, if we're thinking about well, the angle of our right elbow in mm -hmm. battle, that gets a little squirrely. So that would be... Well, that's the thing that makes golf so hard is that if golf was just like uh, there's two golfers running at a ball and the first one to hit it got <laughs> right. to score the point, you'd just be like... Right. And, and I bet you'd be pretty athletic. <laughs> yeah, you know, or, since or Wesley there, playing... Nothing happens until you actually go. Yeah, yeah. When Wesley, Wesley playing an was, hour and a half the other yeah, day. Yeah, 69. It's pretty awesome. Uh, all right, so... So you just mentioned then through the finish. So the one of the controversial things about Tathata Golf is uh, the ads that run on YouTube. Yeah. Right when there's a, the skip this ad button, right before this, this skip the, this ad button, there's this. Yeah. So we see, we see uh, a group and a class and there's this. Mm -hmm. So tell me what you guys are feeling with this uh, because, you know, there's... One of the top search terms on YouTube is like getting rid of early extension. Right. Obviously, that's not early, right. but how is that a power move and why do you guys like that? Right. So, uh, coming into impact, there's a, there's, a few different thing, uh, there's a few different things happening. So, when we look at, if I'm coming in in this direction, let's say I'm rotating or creating low left or all those positions mm -hmm. that we like to look at in the grades, and I'm coming in in this direction, right? If I just rotate in this direction, and I've got everything going this way. Yeah. But if I just thrust, I've got everything going this way, right? Yeah. So think of the Okay, so if thrust, all I did was here was rotate, I'd be going right, to be, left field. Right. And, and if, if you all just I did thrusted, here was thrust, right, slice, be going to right. right field. Right. So yeah. think about, okay, we've got this rotation happening, but at the same time this is happening the lumbar and the glutes are starting to squeeze or thrust or release the pelvis up. So it's simultaneously <laughs> happening. Yeah, so got I've you. got rotation and thrust happening at the same time. But if I, just, if I just extend, we're this way. If I just rotate, we're this way. But think about it this way. If we're here, thrust this way, rotation this way, when I match them up, it planes out or it no, I can puts the club I can feel on that. It's plane. It's rotating and thrusting right. together. Right. And the amount it rotates, the amount, right there. Yeah. There. And yeah. you notice your thighs came together and the glutes came together. It just happened. Yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. Right. There. Yeah. It's much, a lot of times I see with my swing and other people, it's hit right. and then fake finish. Right. Right. You right. You know, right, it's right. like, exactly. you got to finish like you're on TV, but you didn't really do it. Yeah. 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 So that would be, you would see somewhere in here, there's, a, there's this happening and there's this happening, but it, if, it, if it blurs together, then it yeah. depends on what the picture's looking like. All right, guys, so uh, if you guys have any questions, we'll, we'll come back, we'll do something else with Alex. Hopefully we can get Alex out on the golf course and do a vlog with him, that would really be fun. Yeah. You'll agree to that. I pre yes, appreciate you, you being here. <laughs> uh, all right, the things that I really like about this is I, I, I really like the, the short game feel setup of all shots, full shots. I mean, you're really into your business here and the, the feeling is more this way, right? Or just sensing where you're going, just center, yeah. centered yeah, like, and balanced. Like you said, like yeah. when I was gonna kick this ball, like even though I'm here, my, my feeling is well, like, no, I, a little bit. Well, no, it, it would be, I wouldn't be leaning on my left side at setup. That would be, right, a, right, that right. would be incorrect. Right. Yeah, so I would wanna be centered balanced. Like if you were playing defense or right. setting up to, to place the quarterback, Yeah. just athletic. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, so I really like this short game setup. I really like what you guys are working on in this transition. Yeah. To help people Sense in where the bottom this. of the arc is. And then the rest of it is really good, just getting yeah. into it. Yeah. So uh, you guys have a, uh, a website. Yeah, uh, tathotagolf.com. We've yeah. got a 60-day program also. So check it out. And then... Uh, it's probably it's a is it a it's a requisite to do this program before you come here. Well, you want people to have that literacy a little bit. They're going through it while they're training here, so it helps them grow at a little bit faster pace. Okay, great. And Alex is also on Instagram. Alex Tathada Golf. Yeah, Alex underscore in Alex there? underscore Tathada Golf. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so subscribe to this channel and see you later, guys.
Thanks, Alex. Think it's doable? That was fun. Oh, Is that yeah. all right? Yeah, yeah. Hey guys, thanks for watching that. Be sure to click subscribe. One big reason to click subscribe is because for the rest of this year and into next year, every vlog I put up, I'm gonna be giving away free Be Better Golf stuff, like a Be Better Golf t-shirt. So I'm gonna do two contests in a, in a recent review of the, go the Swing Profile app. I said I would be giving away a free elite edition of Swing Profile. So let's see who won that right now. Here go here. Swing profile is so now, now pick a winner. Running a contest, click the button below to pick a random commenter. Richard Massini, one incredible app. It's amazing how much this idea improves the effectiveness and enjoyment of videoing your own swing. I'd be thrilled to win the full version. Totally random. Richard, you won. So we're gonna um, I'm gonna write that down. We're gonna contact Richard and get him his and write that down right now. Um, Richard. Massini. And in my vlog from the links at Summerlee, in the first part, I already gave that t-shirt away. And the second part, I need to give a t-shirt away for that one as well. Be Better Golf t-shirt. So let's go to and pick a winner. And the winner is Mr. Kipling. This guy deserves it because he, he he comments on a lot of videos. So thank you very much. Yeah, let's send out a t-shirt to Mr. Kipling. Hit the subscribe button. Thank you to Alex from Tahatha Golf. That was a lot of fun going there. I'm really looking forward to going back out there or having Alex come out here to uh, do a vlog. I got a really interesting article. Okay, so just as a bonus to you guys who watch these videos all the way to the end, and since uh, Alex was talking a lot about really what you should think about on the course that got me thinking. All right, so this is the email that I wanted to show you. Matthew from New Mexico uh, was writing me. He's a professional golfer that has uh, won some money in professional events, been uh, playing at a pretty high level of golf uh, for a long time, and really made an interesting comment in the comment section. That's why I really appreciate what you guys write. Matthew was saying, hey, you really need to find something to occupy your mind with during the swing. Like, your analytical mind has to be preoccupied with some other thought you're putting in there so that you can have this more reactive golf swing. Uh, and I, so I, in my email to him, to him I said, uh, keeping your mind occupied during the swing, like clear keys, that was a, a thing where you would recite a nonsense phrase to yourself during the swing. I have always wondered where your mind should be during the swing. And then Matthew says, sir, so all my point about keeping your mind occupied during the swing is this. After years of playing golf recreationally and professionally and working with not so good instructors and some of the best instructors, I have learned this. In order to play golf on a consistent basis, you must give your mind something to do during the golf swing. The mind is so powerful that it wants to be involved somehow in some way. I used to think mechanic thoughts or body movements thoughts during the golf swing. I would have success this way for periods of time, but never for that long. Then I would need to find a new mechanic or body thought or key to think about during the swing. It became this cycle and I found myself not improving very much, but I felt the frustration amping up as time went on. Then I came across David Williams in Phoenix, probably the best kept secret in golf instruction and all honesty, I haven't looked David up yet, I should. But the next time you go play and practice, try playing the whole round or your entire practice session like this. One, focus your mind on the target during the whole golf swing. Don't think about the target, but be aware of the target. Meaning, even if you're not looking at the target, flag, stick, tree, bush, etc. Can you sense and be aware of it in your mind? This allows your body to naturally and instinctively react the way it's supposed to in the golf swing because you are swinging, reacting, to a target which is not the golf ball. Just like when you're playing catch, shooting a basketball, throwing a ball, and etc. You're not thinking about how to use your body to do these things. Your body knows how to do it instinctively already. The same goes with the golf swing. After each shot, don't judge the shot. Simply ask yourself, did I stay aware of the target during the entire swing, or did my mind go to something else, like a mechanical thought or a body movement thought? 
Repeat this process after every swing, short game shot, and putt. I promise you after a few rounds of playing golf this way, you will be blown away and become more interested in this approach. Now I'm not saying there is not a time and place to work on mechanics, but that should be done only during practice sessions. And the other 50% of the practice time you should spend on training your mind on being aware of the target during the swing. Feel free to let me know how it goes for you. Love the channel and keep up your good work, Matt. So Matt's talking about as you're swinging, have this really in your mind. And I know that putting, I do that. I definitely do that. I do this thing in putting where I look at the hole and I try to feel like, you know how like when you look at the sun for too long, which is any amount of time of looking at the sun is too long, but when you look at the sun and then you look away from it, it still is burned kind of in a negative way in your eyes. So when I look at the hole, I imagine that it's burning in my eyes as I'm putting. And it really helps me visualize to get the ball. And that's really what's in my mind when I'm putting. Maybe that's one of the reasons why I'm a, probably a higher level putter than I am a, a full swing player. I'm going to try it. Let me know what you think in the comments. Thanks for sticking through for this little extra at the end. Thanks to Matt. Congratulations to Richard and Mr. Kipling on winning stuff. You guys, if you want to win uh, something in the next video, the next vlog video that I put up, all you got to do is click like, click subscribe, and turn on post notifications. Thanks. See you later. Bye.